humans just can't stop fiddling with nature. We try to create and breed all new creatures, and why? Because we want to be gods. And some of us, especially scientists, have gotten dangerously close. We've made one video about this before, and it's time for another. These are the most bizarre animals created by humans, too. Number 15. The Human Pig Alright, let's be honest. How many of you heard the words human pig and named one of your friends? Not cool, guys. Actually, the human pig is an altogether more gross idea than even that. Seriously, this is gonna get pretty weird. In 2017, scientists announced that they had successfully created the world's first human pig chimeric embryo. Or, to put it another way, they had successfully introduced human cells into a non-human organism. In this case, a pig. The idea is that these cells can survive in the non-human organism and can even grow inside them. And while this may sound strange or kind of gross to many of you, it's long been a dream of scientists who hope that this will allow them to finally address a dangerously critical shortage of donor organs. If you're not sure how that would work, it's kind of like this. Obviously, our planet is usually in need of some organs, but that waiting list is so long that often, there are just not enough. So if you could grow a human organ inside of an animal, maybe there wouldn't have to be 22 people dying every day because of that missing organ. You can just grow a new one. Wouldn't that be something? Science, it ain't all pigs. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This image right here has been getting passed around the internet lately, and we can certainly see why. The image was first posted to the deep web by a scientist, one who frustratingly has chosen to remain nameless, who says the image comes from a project he has been working on in which he is attempting to create a human canine hybrid. Truly chilling stuff if true, though we have to wonder if he is nothing but a prankster. But no matter how much he gets called out and accused of lying, he keeps insisting he's telling the truth. One thing he keeps refusing to explain is why he is doing this. All he says is, the reasons will soon be clear. What do you think? Is he telling the truth? And if he is, do you think this is something he or any other scientist would be doing? What do you think? Let us know. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Human Z as long as humans have been aware of our connection to our primate friends, scientists have been working to create a monkey-human hybrid. Don't ask why, that's just a whole other mess that you don't want to go near. Trust me on that one. As yet, the efforts to create a human Z have failed, but believe me, people have tried. The possibility to cross humans and apes has been raised since at least the medieval period, when Saint Peter Damien claimed to have been told of a human woman in Liguria who had <laughs> mated with an ape. I'll be honest, we willingly choose not to verify that claim. Anyway, humans and chimpanzees share about 95% of our DNA sequence, which surely explains why this hypothetical hybrid is such a popular one. After all, it seems like a pretty simple copy and paste job, no? Of course, we're not going to sit here and say that a human Z would actually turn out to be anything other than a total disaster. I mean, it would open the door to a Planet of the Apes situation, which could easily get wildly out of hand. We've all seen the movies, right? Number 13. Leonardo the Legwire 
The story of Leonardo the Legwar is not a happy one, I'm sorry to say, but it's an important story to hear, demonstrating the lengths that some people will go to just to create new and increasingly unusual animals. Leonardo was a leopard jaguar cross bred for the entertainment industry. For the first two years of his life, Leo spent his time entertaining the masses in a Las Vegas show, a fate that no animal should be forced to endure, but but that's far from the only pain Leonardo endured. To make sure the audience and handlers were safe around Leonardo, his canine teeth and claws were pulled out, leaving him in incredible pain when eating or walking. And of course, when the audiences stopped coming and the show came to a close, his despicable owners just sold him to a zoo and pet store in Arizona. The zoo continued the abuse, leaving him in a small cage as a novelty curiosity for tourists. When the zoo eventually shut down, a small miracle at least, Leonardo was taken in by Southwest Wildlife who immediately noted the abuse he had suffered and worked to make his final few years much more comfortable. Well, it's nice to see that someone finally took mercy on such a beautiful animal. Number 12. Mullert Okay, it's not exactly algebra. A duck crossed with a duck equals another duck, but the mullard is still an animal that was created by humans for... what else? Food, of course. Yeah, of course it was made for food, and specifically a pretty controversial food item, so better prepare those hungry typing fingers. The mullard is a hybrid between the domestic Muscovy duck and the domestic duck, and it's mostly used for for food production, the female mullard tends to be raised for their lean meat, while the males have the dubious honor of being raised as an alternative production method for foie gras. Yeah, foie gras, that notorious food item that involves force feeding the ducks. Honestly, it's not great, but hey, I didn't make it happen. Please reserve your anger for, um, well anybody else? Thank you in advance. Perhaps most interestingly though, the mullard actually can be, and occasionally is, produced naturally. So there's something for your trivia night. The mullard is just another example of humans using their Frankenstein power of creation to get their hands on some quality meat. Which to be fair is understandable in the grander scheme of things I guess. I mean I wouldn't do it, but then I'm a voiceover artist so probably makes sense. Number 11. Glow in the Dark Beagles Imagine a dog that glows in the dark. I know, you have a lot of questions. I'm sure some of them will be answered in the next minute or so, but let's just take a minute to take this in. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. In 2005, South Korean researchers broke new ground when they cloned a dog, Snuppy. Unfortunately, that research turned out to be pretty inefficient. Of almost a thousand embryos, Snuppy was the only success. Still, just four years later, that South Korean research team returned to this groundbreaking technology to make yet another effort at cloning. And impressively, Tigon turned out to have an unexpected gift. When given a doxycycline and antibiotic and sat under ultraviolet light, Tigon glows fluorescent green, which has long been recognized as an official sign of a healthy dog, right? Right? But Tigon was not the only glow-in-the-dark dog in this experiment. The South Korean research team were able to clone four others, all of which have that same ability to glow-in-the-dark. And according to these scientists, they may have the key to finding a cure for human diseases such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. So hey, maybe all this snarking is gonna come back to bite me in the butt when these glow-in-the-dark dogs save the world. Number 10. Zuberon. As with just about everything, Europeans and Americans just have to find a way to best one another. So when America invented the beefalo, I think you can figure out what this is. Europe immediately set to work concocting their own unique mix of cattle and wisent. Although, honestly, Zuberon is not as good a name as the beefalo. Actually, the Zuberon was named the winner of a contest organized by a Polish weekly magazine in 1960. 
69. These animals are incredibly heavy, with males weighing up to 2,600 pounds. But boy, are they strong as heck. Not only do they have an incredible amount of power, but they're also highly resistant to disasters and tolerant of the intense weather conditions that are usually found in Europe. So I guess that makes up for the kind of disappointing name, right? Well, almost. Eh, close enough, I guess. Look, Europe set out to best America in the hybridized cattle market, and, well, I'm no expert, so I can't really say if they won that particular battle or not. But if you consider yourself to be an expert in the world of cows, feel free to move yourself into the comments and let us know your thoughts. Just uh, don't milk it. If it helps, I'm ashamed of myself. Number 9. Sterile Pink Bullworm Ask anybody that works with plants, and they will eagerly tell you just how much they hate pest insects like worms. So how exactly do you take out these sucky little guys? Well, if you're a genius, you just create a whole new insect to pretty much destroy them. The sterile insect technique is a strategy in which sterile insects are released en masse to mate with their wild counterparts. And what happens when a sterile animal mates with a fertile one? Yeah. Nothing. This strategy has turned out to be a pretty genius one, helping to control the pest species that cause the most problems for farmers and gardeners, including the pink bullworm. And you know what? You have to admit that it's a pretty great strategy. I mean, I probably wouldn't have come up with it. Some people will understandably be very upset about the idea of controlling insect populations like this. Some people will understandably be very upset about the idea of controlling insect populations like this, but it's worth remembering that many pest insect species, like the pink bullworm, can carry serious diseases, posing a severe threat to the health and well-being of everything from plants to animals to humans. So, you know, it's not great, but it's also probably better than letting everyone contract pink bullworm disease. That's… that's a thing, right? Number 8. Dolly the Sheep Cloning has long been a popular feature in science fiction novels, comics, and stories, but it's been a reality in our world for quite a while. And probably the most famous example is Dolly the Sheep, the world's first mammal cloned from an adult somatic cell. I don't know what it is either. Just run with it. In July 1996, Dolly was cloned by experts at the University of Edinburgh, Scotland, using a cell from a mammary gland. The experiment's success immediately proved that a cell taken from one specific body part could recreate an entire individual, which again is kind of the basis for a lot of science fiction. And Dolly's unusual life just got even more notable as she was able to produce six lambs with a Welsh mountain ram. I think it's pretty obvious to see how Dolly became the world's most famous sheep. Then again, it's not like we're surrounded by celebrity sheep, right? Dolly the sheep sadly died from a progressive lung disease in 2003, but her legacy continues to be as influential as ever. I mean, she was the most famous sheep in the world. You can't just forget the world's most famous sheep overnight. Number 7. The Vasanti Mouse the Vasanti mouse, also known as the mouse, is definitely one of the most bizarre animals ever to be created by humans. And by bizarre, I mean, uh, well, just take a look at it and we'll deal with that somehow. In 1996, Charles A. Vasanti decided to perform one of the world's most unusual experiments by seeding cow cartilage cells into a biodegradable ear-shaped mold, which would then be implanted under the skin of a mouse. I know, I know, that's a lot of information to get in a matter of seconds, but what happened next is the important part. After the cells were implanted beneath the skin, the ear began to naturally grow by itself within the restricted shape and size, creating a totally unusual mouse who can hear people talking behind its back. Sorry, gossip rats. The Vasanti mouse became an internet sensation when the photos first hit the web. At that time, it was not uncommon to receive photos of the mouse in your email inbox with absolutely no context whatsoever. It was basically the original meme template, but nobody knew they had to add something to it. Number 6. 
featherless chickens. Look, chickens are great, but sometimes they can be a little impractical. So how do you make an impractical chicken a practical chicken? Get rid of the feathers, duh! Okay, look, I know you're thinking I've lost my mind, and I have, but it's really not as crazy as you think. It's kinda crazier, actually. Israeli geneticist Avigdor Kahaner decided he was going to be the trailblazer for the future of chickens by creating featherless chickens. Yeah, Kahaner had spotted a unique challenge when it came to poultry farming in warmer climates and sought to resolve it by making the chickens more comfortable in extreme heat. If they had no feathers, they could stay cool, and they wouldn't die so quick. Unfortunately, very few people agreed with Kahaner. In fact, an official from Compassion in World Farming described it as disgusting, sick science, and obscene. Presumably, it's obscene because the chicken is naked. <laughs> And to be fair, he's not wrong on that. Despite the intense blowback, Kahana remains insistent that this is the future of chicken. The ability to save money on air conditioning makes it more affordable for poor farmers, meaning more chickens, more profitability, and let's face it, some amusing jokes about naked chickens. Well, some jokes about naked chickens. Let's not jump to conclusions about quality. Number 5. Glowfish if you allowed a child to remake the world any way they wanted, you'd probably end up with many animals like the glowfish. It's basically what you'd get if you combined a nightlight with a fish. But, you know, without the devastating consequences of that, scientists in Singapore were working on some method to detect toxins in water, believing that this could help identify polluted waterways and protect them. Their method to making that happen, of course, started small. With the fishies, these scientists found a way to genetically modify the fish to glow under light. Depending on the type of light, the glow may be more intense or more stunning, but either way, it's difficult to not see one of these things if they happened to cross your path. Pretty soon, the glowfish was being investigated by the FDA and USDA and the US Fish and Wildlife Services. Not for any bad reason, they were just finally going to be sold. Today, of course, you can see glowfishes pretty much everywhere. Now legal to own, the glowfish apparently comprise around 10% of all aquarium fish sales. And with 10 individual glowfish species, you have to admit, this thing has a bright future. Yeah, see what it did there. Number 4. Flower Horn Cichlid if there's any animal that humans seem to want to create, it's fish. I don't know exactly how or why, but it seems everybody just loves having an opportunity to design a whole new fish. Like, for instance, the flower horn cichlid, an ornamental aquarium fish known for its vivid colors. The flower horn cichlid gets its name from that unique head protuberance, formerly known as a knuckle hump. But even though you now know what they look like, like, you probably shouldn't be expecting to see them out in the wild. As man-made fish, the only time you'll see a flower horn cichlid in the wild is if it happens to be released. And when that happens, it becomes a major problem. In Singapore and Malaysia, these fish have become a notoriously invasive pest animal. So I guess even the most bizarre animal created can also be one of the most annoying. Kinda sounds like me on a bad day. The flower horn cichlid has been around since the early 1990s, and they're probably more known now than ever. But, you know, again, that's not necessarily a great thing. If you cause a lot of trouble for people, they're obviously not going to want to see more of you. Then again, when you look this cute, maybe they'll learn to live with it. Number 3. Belgian Blue Okay, so creating a cow for meat production is not exactly one of the most bizarre things you've heard today, but hear me out, they're pretty weird looking, and in my opinion, that makes it a perfect fit for our list. Please don't get mad at me for that, weird looking is an actual scientific term. Number 2. 
The Belgian blue originated in Belgium in the 19th century, when local farmers began crossing local breeds with a UK shorthorn breed. By the 1950s, the more modern beef breed had been perfected, thanks to a lengthy process designed to maintain the breed's characteristic gene mutation. Which is a very fancy way of saying that they really wanted to make sure that the cow looked like it could take on Dwayne the Rock Johnson in a fight and probably win. Which is probably true, I'm just too scared to dispute it. In its infancy, the Belgian blue calf is born with two times the number of muscle fibers than that of a regular calf, which explains how this thing looks quite so roided up. There ain't no supplements here, my friends. That's an all-natural hunk of beefcake you're looking at there. I have never felt more uncomfortable in my life than saying those words. Number 2. See-Through Frog when I was first told about the see-through frog, my reaction was obviously, what, here? I can't see it. But when I was told that it was an online picture, I was pretty surprised. And when I eventually saw that picture, I was like, wow, it's see-through? So we're giving you that experience right now. Yes, this is the world's first see-through frog, a scientific breakthrough that could actually end up having an incredible impact on future research. And that's not a joke. The scientists behind this unusual creation explained that they were hoping to be able to observe the organ growth and cancer formation within the animal. If they can do that, they'll be able to use the information to provide a useful animal model for future environmental, medical, and biological research. And who knows how much of an impact that could have on the rest of us. We'll all be see-through by 20... if... December? Yeah, that sounds about right. The see-through frog is obviously one of the stranger animals that's ever been created, but at least there's a purpose to it. Well, some kind of purpose to it. It's a little weird, man. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that staring at a see-through frog is just a another ordinary Tuesday, you know? Number 1. Spider Goat Spider goat, spider goat, does whatever a spider goat does. Spins a web? Mm, probably. Catches thieves? You've lost your dang mind. Actually, this spider goat is less action-packed and more silk-packed. And if you don't know what silk-packed means, I honestly don't know a simpler way to describe it. Good luck, my friend. Randy Lewis, a professor of molecular biology at the University of Wyoming, is the genius behind this spider goat. He was investigating if there was a more straightforward way to get spider silk without resorting to the temperamental spiders who had a tendency to kill one another. So Randy implanted the spider's dragline silk gene into goats in a very unique way, ensuring that they would only make the protein in their milk. So, when the goats start lactating, the researchers could collect the milk and purify the protein into much higher quantities than was ever possible. See? Molecular biology is unbelievably simple. If you put the thing into the other thing, boom. Stuff! Science is amazing. Okay, so the spider goat can't swing or fight crime. Yet. But the technology is on its way. I mean, they're able to make the ultra-strong silk, so it's only a matter of time before we see spider goat bleeding up the bad guys. Bah ha ha, indeed. If you could create your own animal, what would it be and why? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.